New cars, new trees, even more employees. The options are endless in a Hayes County school district that has thousands of extra dollars to spend instead of wasting it on electricity. All new at 6, KXAN's Erin Cargyle has the story from Kyle. Fuentes Elementary used to be one of the top energy wasters in the Hayes Consolidated Independent School District. So R.C. Heron started doing the math. We have 615 fixtures in this school. His crew spent time changing each one. We would set them up with two bulbs, three bulbs, and four bulbs. And then we would let every uh, teacher in the campus go through there and see which light level was the best light level for a learning environment. Turns out two was enough. There are other cost cutting changes even students have picked up on. If you ever go into a room and no one's there, the lights will always be off. Motion sensors automatically shut off lights when no one's around. And now every school in the district has a program thermostat that can only go so far during the day. It's between 72 and 76 degrees. And rises to 80 when kids go home. Along with these changes came an energy savings incentive plan that is paid off for everyone. 10% of the money each campus saves goes back to their school. 15% goes into the district fund balance. Another quarter pays for replacing old maintenance vehicles. 25% creates extra energy positions. And the rest funds future energy saving projects. The district saved $470,000 last school year. And Fuentes is already set to get $5,000 back this year. Some of it will be spent on trees for this field next to the playground to start an outdoor classroom. In Kyle, Aaron Cargyle, KXAN, Austin News.